All right guys, today I wanna to show you how to make two jigs for your shop that will make your job a little bit easier. Okay, so the first jig I wanna show you is the router jig. Now I used the router jig uh, recently to put T-Tracks and a miter track into my assembly table. I've got the T-Tracks in place to secure my router fence when I'm using the router. And the miter track is so I could use different accessories like a feather board. Now I didn't want to freehand or use a single straight edge because I was afraid I might slip and cause my line to be crooked. And if you cut these lines crooked, your tracks aren't gonna fit or it just will look ugly. So I'm gonna show you how I made this router jig. It's very simple. Now you can get very creative with this and use T-Tracks in the router jig itself. Uh, but I just used a, a few screws and a couple of clamps and it worked great. So let me show you how this works. Okay, so here we are at the router lift, and this is the miter track that I previously installed. And for example, let's just say we want to route for this miter track to go into this table. Lay the miter track down on the table, outline it with a pencil, just so you have a visual mark of where everything's gonna be. All right, and you set the miter track aside. Now, in my case, in my, in my situation, my router base from this point to this point is seven inches, and that's the same distance from this edge to, to this edge. So I've got seven inches from here to here. So when I put the router in place, I don't have any play back and forth. It's tight. So position your jig. You want to lower the bit just right above the table. And you want to figure out where that bit is going to be, where it's going to stop. Make sure you have the router unplugged but turn the bit and make sure the cutter edge is not gonna go over the line in any direction. So once you have the router centered and you are ready to start routing, go ahead and clamp this down on this end, on this end over here, just clamp it down. And then you wanna to move to the other end and figure out where you're gonna stop. All right, so now what we can do is figure out where we need to stop this router on this end and you can position this piece accordingly wherever you need that stop so if you, if you know you need to stop say right there just butt that piece right up to the router and screw it down so let me go ahead and do that and i had to move this one because i didn't have a scrap piece long enough so i had to go put my screw on the very edge Okay, so now that one's set up. So now you clamp this piece down, and now all you gotta worry about is just lowering the router and working it back and forth, and then lower it some more, and just until you get the desired depth that you need, you don't have to worry about going back and forth and worrying about where to stop. You've already got all that set and taken care of. So. Okay, so here is the taper jig, and really all this consists of is a piece of scrap wood and I've routed dovetails at various measurements.
So when you get ready to cut, we just want to make sure you have the fence set at the same measurement as what this jig is. So if this jig is uh, eight or eight and a half inches wide, that's what you want to set your fence up at. Now we have a, a taper from here to here that we marked. Okay, so that was the taper jig. Now you can also use this jig for straight line cuts. So for an example, if you don't have a jointer and you need to clean up an edge, uh, this will work in that application as well. Now, obviously I'm using dovetail uh, clamps for this. That's just what I chose to use. Uh, so I wanted to pass that along to you. Uh, I'll link everything down in the description uh, for the clamps and other things that I've used in these jigs. Um, but they have proven to be really useful, uh, the taper jig and the router jig in the last week, I've used both of them and it's just made my job a lot easier. So I wanted to pass it along to you guys. Uh, I really want to just thank everybody that supports me. Thank you guys on Patreon that support me on Patreon. Uh, thank you for watching this video and leave me a comment if you see anything that you liked or disliked about this project and we'll see you next time. See you.